Um, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's Michael Brunner and Tutu here. As you can see, I'm, um, I have my I have the Bissell Playview Helix out right now. So I just wanted to give you an update with this, showing you what's going on with this machine right now. I just wanted to give you a little quick update and wanted to make a video real quick, yeah. Um, this machine unfortunately doesn't turn on right now. It doesn't work right now, but as you can tell, it did replace the uh the base from the Power Force. Um, the last power force I had was a 2007, I believe it was from the 2007 model, if I remember correctly. As you can see, the hose is, this hose is not, this is not the right hose. This hose came from the Eureka is Rita Pet Exact, I think that's what it's called. I got from my three models a year ago. But this machine, as you see, um, there is an issue, but there is one issue I have with this machine. I can remove it. You see where the where the extension on a crab stool holds right there? It was bro it's broke off. It's been broken off for a long, long for a little while now. For not long actually, but um this is not a Bissell hose. Um this hose actually came from the Eureka Airspeed exact pad I got over there also. Um I just you see as you can see I duct taped it. So this one actually came from the Power Force bagless I had the sixty five eighty two I it used to own, but it broke it because it didn't work. It looks like a 1398. It looks kind of looks like this machine now looks like a 71Y7-V in the 1398 now because of its fate. But I want to get 1398 or the 71Y7-V, but I want the 1398 just to sound better. And there's a problem with this. There's an issue here. I don't know what happened to this base before. It's not like that before in a while, but, and the headlight did burn out after, well, it didn't burn, the headlight was working as she's, I do have a video from this machine when I got it, I will probably try to, up. I will put a link of the description of it at the end of this video, I will try to upload it, because about a year ago, last year, I did a video on this, um, showing you working, I did a review on, I believe I did a review on this last year, I know of. I did, re I, did re I did a review of this machine last year, but that review didn't do great. That review did not go as planned as, I th as well as I thought it would. I do have the base, but I need to get a new knob for the. I need to get a new high adjustment knob, a new headlight, a new headlight cover, a new HEPA, a new post a new sound, a new. Another filter, and I need a filter like this. I think I have an. I don't. I know this had an outer circuit filter when I got it. It, I, I do have a hose for it, and I do have attachments. It's not the correct... This crevice tool actually came from the Power Force Compact. If I do... If I know I'm getting a... Thir once I get a... Thir if I do get a 13 Once I get a 13.98, I can take this crevice tool and come up to on the stench on the power from his room right there. In about a few... In about a week and a half, I will be doing an update of the collection here not long. Coming soon. Not right now, because... Ain't time. This cord also came from that Eureka I was talking about just a minute ago. This um, came from the Velocity Bag Rewind, as you saw last year. This was normal. I don't know what's going on with the Bissell logo. What else? Oh, it, 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 I, do have a, I do have the Derber brush, but I don't know what happened to it now. I don't know where it is now. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little cook update. So, yeah. And the Power Force Compact, too, I guess if we gave it a little update. Here's my shark. And let me show you this thing. I need to clean this thing. I do need to clean this one out. It does work at least for right now. It does work for now, but and also updated. Well, I'm gonna update with you this on. Let me update with you on this real quick. So here's this. Here's this Bissell. I don't know as you saw in my last video. No. Yeah, my last vacuum video. As last video in here was this. After using it uh, two days ago, it is still dusty. This thing's just a lot. Of, there's a lot of dust now, and the brush hole actually has an issue for some reason. The brush hole's bearing, the bearings are fine. I don't know what's going on with the end cap at the end of the brush hole. Like right there, where the end cap would go, both the end caps goes right there. I don't know what happened, but the bearings turns. I know, I know the brush hole bearings are fine. The bearings on this are fine, but I don't know why the brush hole won't go for some reason. I, I hope it's not the housing, that's what I'm just worried. Yeah, when I got this, I don't think it came with the... I don't know if it came... 
I don't I don't think it came with the crevice tool when I got this thing for my when I got this last when I got this last year I believe it was missing the crust if I remember correctly. I don't think I had the com the two in one I don't think I had the combo tool or the crevice tool. I actually it did have the no it did have the crevice no, right. Yeah, no, yep, I was right. Okay, yeah, I'm right. I believe it didn't come with the crevice tool when I got this machine. So I had this combo tool and this extension one. No, this extension one I took off from the other 17. Uh, the other bits I saw last year also when I got this last year. Uh, another one of these. Another. I, when I got this, I did take the extension one off uh, when I saw one of these at the thrift store too. They had this last year at the thrift store in my local hater rest. So yeah, but that one was more expensive for some reason. So I just took that extension one off and put it on this. And this is not the great crevice tool, but I don't care. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course, I see. I just take it over here for now. And the pistol collectors. And this one's a remanufactured model for some reason. Model 882H1-R. Made on, it was made on the, on the 305th day of 2010. So, I'm guessing this was a early version. I think these were, I think this one, these got discontinued, I believe, in 2013, I believe, if I remember correctly. I know these were out between 2010 and 2013, I believe, if I remember correctly. If not, then, then leave me a comment. And this one's a remanufactured for my model, for some of my model, it has a remanufactured model. Um, and that shark, and I'm, let me show you the shark real quick. Here's that power drum helix 3 one base that has issues right now with it. And having that issue. Let me show you this. I just want to show you my three vacuums that has some issues that needs to be fixed right now. But this is not the this is not an update. I'm just showing you these three what's going on. Let me bring this over here. Um, these are the ones I need to clean to get well. Oh, I already cleaned the claim helix. No, wait, did I clean the claim? Yeah, I did. I know, I know the green one I did. The shark I haven't got I even got a chance to. And let me show you the shark. These these clamps tends to break all the time. But mine's my the hose are the hoses are not split. I'm glad these hose I am so happy to, I'm happy these hoses are not split. I don't think they ain't gonna check. And the fil the filter's not too bad, it was like but let's check. But it is clean, pretty clean. It is pretty clean, but but up here it's not too bad. It's not too dusty. It is a little bit. It is dirty, but it ain't too bad. This was only a dollar when I got this too. Almost two about two weeks ago now. I believe this should have the HEPA filter thing. Let me try to get this out. Hold on, guys. Let me catch you back in a minute. All right, just pulled the HEPA. Okay, the HEPA filter doesn't look too bad. Um, this cover was so hard to pull off. To, just a second ago, I was trying to pull this off for y'all. And this HEPA filter right here. It doesn't look too bad. I might, I might get a replacement filter. Probably gonna get a replacement filter because I don't know when this was made. And for the shark collectors, if you know how to date this, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna put this back on real quick so I don't want to mess with this machine that long. Hold up. I had to push it in real quick, that's all. Just wanted to show you these three machines. Um, this was just what's going on with these machines right now. All the other vacuums, I'm gonna show you my other collection in a little bit. Not now. I'm just showing you these. What these are the ones still? The shark I haven't even had it. Haven't even fixed it. This one's a. There it is. This one's a. MV3 MV370. Uh, I'm gonna guess for maybe the six. Maybe I'm gonna guess some. No. I'm gonna say 2016 or 2012. No, this probably is 2016. My guess is it's 2016. My guess is 2016 for this one. I don't know. 